Hello from Slidered and hello from Weeps. What's up folks? In this vid, I'm going to talk about how many times a particular character appears in a string. For example, how many A's in Abracadabra. So here, you ask the user enter the string, the user is gonna enter something. You also ask the user which character he wants to find. For example, if you say A, then you will say that A appears 5 times in Abracadabra. So this is a simple program. So let me show you the logic behind this. So here, we have our string S which is Abracadabra, we have our character CH which is A and we wanna find out how many times CH comes inside our string S, right? So that being said, here is a counter variable which is 0. Initially, at the first place, you have A when you say S dot char at 0, that is gonna give the first character A, right? Since we found A once, the counter is gonna be increased by 1 and then we could go to the second one and see, is S dot char at 1? equals to a no it is not it's b right so the counter is not going to increase at all again let's move to the third place now here again we're gonna check if that is equals to a no it is r so the counter won't increase next we go here and we find that we have another a over here so the counter has become two so repeating the same process throughout the string starting from the first position till the last position if we find the character at each position and compare that with the character which we want then we can increase the counter and we can say that this character a was found counter times that is two times or five times or whatever so let's actually jump into NetBeans and get this program up and running so here in NetBeans I have nothing but an empty project first let me set up the input mechanism by using a buffered reader so now what I have is I have my buffered reader set up which is new input stream reader system.in I've asked the user saying enter the string the user is gonna enter something which is going to be inside your reader.read line and I'm storing that data inside the string data field right so let's actually uh, let me actually show you how characters can be read now there is a way to read characters as well for the first part I'm gonna comment this three pieces of code which I've written over here alright so there is something if you see there is some method called system.in dot this system dot in dot read read directly from the keyboard and it gives an integer back so let's actually see what that integer looks like if we say int x equals to system dot in dot read let me actually go ahead and print this out so here I have printed my system dot out dot print ln x right so let's actually see how this looks like shift f6 so now if you see over here I have to enter something right the system is actually waiting for me to enter some data if I enter 1 over here it prints 49 so system dot in dot read if I entered 1 x1 should be stored and then it's printing 49 what the hell is going on here's the thing system dot in dot read reads whatever you enter and gives you the sky value back for example if you go ahead and run this if you enter a over here it's gonna print 97 if you run capital A over here it's gonna print 65 so what we can actually do is we can read a character using this method we can convert this integer to a character by typecasting it right so what I can say is I can simply say char ch equals to typecast this integer to a character right and then I can simply print ch out so if I say control s shift f6 now if I enter say a it's gonna print a out right so this is the way we are gonna read characters so let me uncomment the first part and actually uh, get the part running right so now I'm gonna ask the user over here by saying system dot dot print ln I'm gonna say enter the character so first enter the string store that inside the data variable next ask the user to enter the character use the system dot in dot read method to read the character store it inside this care variable right now things are pretty simple we have to compare each position inside the string to find out where our character is appearing right so I'm gonna make a variable saying int number of times ch was found equals to zero initially I know that's a pretty long name but this is the way you guys will understand best right so I'm gonna say for int i equals zero I need to scan the entire string I'm gonna say i less than our data dot length right and I'm gonna say i plus plus now at each position I want the character so I'm gonna say data dot char at i right I'm gonna take this inside a variable called char c and I'm gonna compare this c with the user variable right I'm gonna say if c equals equals ch that means that a was found right if you have a string like so ch initially contains our a and our entire string data contains this abracadabra so first we need to check if this character equals to a if this character equals to a and so on right so that's what i'm trying to do over here by saying if char c this char c is going to be first a then it's going to be b then it's going to be r then it's going to be a and so on and if c equals equals ch i'm going to simply say number of times 
character was found plus plus right so in the end i can simply go ahead outside the for loop and print this value out by saying system dot out dot print ln and this will tell me the number of times the character was found right so let me go ahead and run this control s shift f6 is going to say enter the string i'll say abracadabra enter the character a and there you go it says five times that means it's working perfectly you can enter anything over here test it out and you can let me know what happens if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys thanks for watching i'll catch you guys later have a nice day